Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Shruti's Pharma World. Today I am going to talk about flash distillation. In this presentation, we are going to discuss the principle, construction, working, advantages and disadvantages of this flash distillation equipment. Here you can see the pictorial representation of flash distillation equipment. First of all, I will give a brief introduction regarding this flash distillation equipment. If it is clear, then you can easily understand the principle, working and all other parts regarding this flash distillation equipment. Flash distillation equipment consists of a pump, feed reservoir and a heating chamber. A heater is present here. A, then pressure reducing valve is here. This is one of the major part which is present in flash distillation equipment. Then of course a vapor liquid separator is here. So this is our vapor liquid separator and vapor outlet is here and a liquid outlet is here. So these are the important parts which is present in our flash distillation equipment. Now let's see what's the principle involved in flash distillation. Actually flash distillation is defined as the process in which the entire liquid mixture is suddenly vaporized by passing the feed from a high pressure zone to a low pressure zone. Here you can see our pressure reducing valve. With the help of this pressure reducing valve, high pressure and low pressure zone is maintained. Okay, whenever our feed is coming from a high pressure zone to a low pressure zone, sudden vaporization will be occur in vapor liquid separator. Okay, here you can see a pump. With the help of this pump, feed is introduced into the heating chamber. Actually, this is our heating chamber. With the help of this pump, feed is introduced into the heating chamber. Here you can see a pipe. Through this pipe, feed is passing. Okay, so feed is coming from a high pressure zone to a low pressure zone. Due to the sudden drop in pressure, vaporization will be occur. Sudden flashing will be occur. Okay, this vaporization will be occur inside the vapor liquid separator. This is vapor liquid separator and this vapor phase. This vapor phase contain uh, both high boiling and low boiling fraction. After some time, high boiling fraction get condensed and it is settled at the bottom and the low boiling fraction that remain as vapor. After attaining equilibrium, the vapor and liquid phases are separated. The vapor separated through this vapor outlet and liquid is separated through this liquid outlet. So after attaining equilibrium, only uh, the separation will be occur. Because of that, flash distillation is also known as equilibrium distillation. So this is the simple principle that is involved in flash distillation. I repeat, flash distillation is defined as a process in which entire liquid mixture is suddenly vaporized by passing the feed from a high pressure zone to a low pressure zone pressure reducing valve that maintain this high pressure zone and low pressure zone. The feed material that is passing from a high pressure zone to a low pressure zone, sudden vaporization will be occur. Sudden flashing will be occur inside the vapor liquid separator. Then after some time equilibrium will be attained. After that separation will be occur. Because of this Flash distillation is also known as equilibrium distillation. So, the other name of flash distillation is equilibrium distillation. Move on to the construction part of flash distillation equipment. It consists of a pump and this pump is connected to our feed reservoir. Here you can see our feed reservoir. This pump helps to feed the material into the heating chamber. So, heating chamber is here and another important part is pressure reducing valve the other end of this pipe is introduced into the vapor liquid separator through a pressure reducing valve this is vapor liquid separator so the other end of our pipe is introduced into the vapor liquid separator through a pressure reducing valve and from the vapor liquid separator vapor can escape through this valve and we can separate liquid uh, through this uh, liquid outlet so these are the important parts which is present in a flash distillation equipment.
move on to the working of flash distillation equipment here you can see our pump with the help of this pump feed is introduced into the heating chamber feed is introduced into the heating chamber at certain pressure so our feed material is passing through this pipe from high pressure zone to low pressure zone uh, during this journey through this pipe feed material absorb heat from the heating chamber then the liquid feed that gets heated then the liquid enters a vapor liquid separator through this pressure reducing valve here you can see our pressure reducing valve through this pressure reducing valve our feed material enter into the vapor liquid separator as we know our feed material is coming from a high pressure zone and then it enter into a low pressure zone and this high pressure and low pressure zone is maintained with the help of this pressure reducing valve so a pressure drop is observed here because of this pressure drop our hot liquid our hot feed material that undergo sudden flashing sudden vaporization will be occur inside this vapor liquid separator and which further enhanced vaporization process okay this sudden vaporization induce a cooling effect to this vapor liquid separator so that chamber become cooled now our feed material is in the form of vapor phase and which is present inside the vapor liquid separator that vapor phase contain both high boiling fraction and low boiling fraction after some time the high boiling fraction get condensed and it settle at the bottom and the low boiling fraction that remains as vapor after attaining equilibrium this vapor and liquid phase get separated okay after achieving equilibrium the vapor phase separated through a pipe at the top here you can see vapor outlet and liquid outlet is here after attaining equilibrium the vapor and liquid phase get separated through the respective valves so this is the working procedure of flash distillation equipment we can separate both high boiling and low boiling fraction with the help of a flash distillation equipment move on to the important uses of flash distillation process and this method is used to separate components which boil at widely different temperature and this method is used in petroleum industry for refining crude oil these are the important uses of flash distillation equipment it is a continuous process that is one of the advantage of flash distillation disadvantage means it is not an efficient system for separating pure components if pure components are necessary for us it is not a suitable system for separating pure components so that is one of the disadvantage of flash distillation so in this presentation we have studied the principle construction working and the important advantages disadvantages and uses of this flash distillation equipment hope you all understand if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe my channel thank you for watching